Today we're going to look at how we can insert copyright in a picture or a group of pictures using Lightroom. So let us begin. Here I have my Lightroom opened. So let us start. Select a single picture which you want to do the copyright. Then click on export. When you come to export, pull down until you see watermarks so here we're going to click on watermarks I already have watermarks what I'm going to do is click on edit watermarks here we are going to create uh, show you how to insert either text or graphic watermark I'm going to show you both so let us first start with inserting a text watermark or a signature so here I have selected text next I'm going to select uh, a font which I have already selected here next you can either select regular bold or italic I'm going to use the italicized font you can select the color I have already selected the color you can click here and and select whatever color you want and then when you're done click next you come down here you select the font size what you want to appear you write down the font size and when you come down here the last option is to see where you want to put your watermark you can put it in the left hand corner at the bottom you can put it in the center as you can see it's in the center now or you can put it uh, on the right hand corner and there are two important settings you have to do to exactly position this uh, from the right bottom corner and th this is how we do you insert points either look at just watch the image when I put 10 it moves 10 pixels from the right border and this number 4 let's make it 5 this number 2 let's make it 5 and now you can see it moves 5 pixels from the bottom but I will leave it at 5 and then I leave it at 2 from the bottom now I it asks me to save this one I can create a new one so let's call this as uh, Nick Nickham md right corner so I'm going to be creating a new watermark so that's what it shows right Nick Nickham right corner when that is done you simply export the image since I already have an image there it wants me to see if I want to overwrite it I will simply say no, use a different name just to show you the difference and it is done if you go to the directory where it is saved now let's look at the, the different options the one we entered is uh, the picture here and as you can see here is Nick Nickham MD that is how you insert a text uh, copyright now let's get back to inserting an image so I Whenever you are doing a copy mark test, make sure that only one picture is highlighted. Otherwise, if you have 500 pictures in a sequence, it's going to duplicate all those 500 pictures. Hence, when you are testing a copy mark or creating a new copy mark, make sure only one picture is highlighted. So let us go back to export here and uh, come down here I will first show you the one which I have NNN7 and I'm going to save it just to show you the difference and I will show you how to create that one let me export this and let's give a, let's use a unique name and it is saved let's go back here 
and let's look at the folder I don't know why it let's look at the go back to the folder where we had these pictures now this should be house number four okay here we have the logo now let's go back and see how we can learn to insert a logo or a picture any picture for that matter and resize the picture as you like so let us get back to Lightroom let us minimize this let's go to export and come down here to watermarks click here you say edit watermarks and whatever the last watermark was used will show up as default so we want to create a new watermark image so let's go back here and we are editing this so we are going to choose an image file from our documents so you go to your place where you have saved the image and this is the image which I would normally use I have already used this in my this one so let's get back to where we are so here the picture is in the middle let's see what adjustments we can do first of all the size is uh, 5 pixels and then we can select how far down we want it from the edges next it is in the center if you want to put it on the left side you can just click and as you can see it is on the left side if you want it on the right side you can click it to the right side and do it or you leave it in the center and when you want say it's done it will uh, create a new watermark if you make any changes create a watermark then you can export this image and use unique name and then it is saved so let's go back and check and see now the next picture is the one in five in sequence now we have this uh, image logo inserted in the middle of the picture and every picture it will be in the middle it doesn't matter what the dimensions of the picture are so let's get back to here, the Lightroom here and supposing let's say for example I want to edit this picture I want to resize this picture to the original size or whatever size I like it doesn't matter so I'm resizing this one I will go back to the library next click export and I'm going to use the same logo which is a triple N7 and I say export this logo let's use unique name for this it has saved the picture let's go back to our folder house picture number six and as you can see it is still in the center it doesn't matter what the image dimensions are it always centers it five pixels from so that is how you can create a new text logo or insert an image anywhere on the left corner in the center or on the right corner and tell exactly how many pixels you want it from the bottom thank you so much for watching and, and please please do subscribe to our youtube channel we'll see you next time